EFC in tobacco products is not a new issue. Instead, it's an issue that's on the rise. Teens use a number of tobacco products, such as cigarettes, cigarillos, cigars, dipping tobacco, e-cigarettes, pipes, and even hookah. There could be a number of reasons why adolescents start using tobacco products. It can be that they just want to look cool, peer pressure, or they've seen someone that they know and they're close to using them as well. For many years, smoking cigarettes has been one of the leading tobacco used products by adolescents. But over the most recent years, there's been a new product that's been used the most. E-cigarettes or vapes came around in 2007. From 2007 to now, it became one of the most used tobacco products in the world. The most popular target audience happens to be teens. Teens are attracted to the way they smell and a discreet look because it's easy to hide in plain sight. Everywhere you go, it's almost easy to see an adolescent with a vape product. Either it's an e-rig, a vape pen, or a jewel, which is the most used out of all. In 2018, a 44,000 student survey was taken. Among the 12th graders, 37% reported using vaping products. While in 2017, only 27% students reported using vaping products. This significant increase raised awareness that there's a definite problem among the youth using vape pens and tobacco products. When more and more adolescents starting to use vape products, we're also starting to see increase in hospital cases as well. In 2019, we've seen almost over 2,000 vape-related illnesses. Of those 2,000, there was 54 deaths. This is why I would like to propose a policy that will put an end to the deaths, put an end to premature deaths due to vaping, a policy that will ban e-cigarettes forever. This policy will not only benefit the youth, but also the families of the youth. Not only will the pulling this policy in place help improve the overall health of all the adolescents, but it will also decrease the amount of tobacco used by the adolescents. But the only question that remains is, what are you going to do to help push for this change?